Hello. Hello, how are you doing? Rise up. Rise up with me. It is mid-morning. And let's have mid-morning breakfast chat. I've already had my breakfast and I'm just still on my uh, cup of coffee. This is my second cup of co coffee. But I just want to encourage you this morning to be mindful. Be mindful of what you say and how you say it and who you say it to. Be mindful of that. In James chapter 3, it teaches us. It teaches us that your tongue is the most powerful weapon and force in your life. Proverbs states that the tongue has the power of life and death. Yes, we have to be careful of what we say, how we say it. This thing can really mess up somebody's life. Yes, it can. James in James 3 states that you can control your whole body by this small member you have called the tongue. Your tongue can guide your thoughts, your emotions, and your body into the path of prosperity and success and be a tremendous power for good. But on the negative side, on the negative side, your tongue can be used to damage and destroy your physical body, your thought life, and your emotional reactions. Now, did you know, did you know that hell acts on your words? It's what you say that come out of your mouth. Hell acts on it. If you say that you'll never get well, guess what? You'll never get well. The devil said, well, she, he said that he will never get well. So I'm going to keep him sick. I'm going to keep him bound. We have to speak positive. Yes, yeah, speak positive over our health. I am well. I'm healed. I'm whole. I'm delivered. And I'm set free. Yes, we have to do that. Now, Eve. Eve in the Bible had to speak wrong words before Satan could act. Yes. So every negative word you speak sets hell into activity. This is why God spoke to Joshua in verse 1 in chapter 8 and said this. This book of the law shall not depart from your mouth. But you shall meditate on it day and night so that you may be careful to do according to all that is written in it. Let's defeat the enemy today and speak positive. Let's not let anything negative come out of our mouth especially about our health. Yes, we never know a lot of times when we speak negative how that person may feel. It may linger with them for a long time and damage them. So we have to be careful what comes out of our mouth and speak positive. So I'm going to leave you on that note and hope that you enjoyed it. And I'm going to go into the kitchen and we're going to cook up some an amazing, amazing meal. So I'm going to see you in the kitchen. But just know God loves you and so do I. Have a blessed day. Hey, y'all. I told y'all that I would meet you in the kitchen to share this amazing recipe. Hawaiian pineapple sweet sour smoked sausage. Yes, I'm excited to share it with you because it is good. Okay, let's get cooking. Okay, y'all, here are the ingredients that I'm going to use in this amazing recipe. We're going to use pineapple, the chunks of pineapple. We're going to use beef smoked sausage. We're going to use rice. You can use any brand of rice. We're going to use the sweet chili, garlic sauce, and we're going to use red pepper. And the name of it is Hawaiian Pineapple Sweet Sour Smoked Sausage. It's going to be good. So 
So let's get to cooking. Okay, first we're going to cook and stir our sausage and bell pepper together. Red bell pepper, one pack of sausage, and one large bell pepper. We're gonna stir it together on medium high for five minutes. And we're gonna lightly brown the sausage and the pepper until it's tender. And we're gonna stir these together. That's good already. Okay, I'm ready to add in my other ingredients. You want to, you want the sausage to be a little slightly brown, but your peppers, you want them to get tender. And when you cut your sausage, make sure you cut it in slant. You can either chop your peppers up or you can leave your peppers um, long way. Okay, the next ingredients I'm going to put in is the chili sauce. One fourth cup of the chili, the sweet chili garlic sauce. Stir that around. Mm. Then I'm going to add in my one cup of chopped pineapples, fresh pineapples. Stir this around in here and you serve it over rice. I already have my rice cooked. Now this is a serving for six people. Don't take long to prepare, but it's a serving for six people. 